Hi guys, um, today I want to share something with you. So I was working on a React Native app and uh, I wanted to have a chat uh, capability added into my app. And there's multiple options available for that. Um, I could have used Firebase, I could have used um, a pusher with the native database. And there's another option, which is this a stream. And uh, by the look of it, um, uh, and all the support and all the tutorials and SDKs available online, I thought that this is uh, the best option. And this is why I should go for it and you know use it into my app. But then um, when I started working with it, I realized that it's actually not that great when it comes to if you already have an app and you want to add a chatting application into your um, React Native app. So um, here are the things which I have done and I found difficult and that's why I dropped the idea to use uh, stream chat um, into my React Native app. So let's have a look. Okay, so the first thing is um, this um, messaging uh, platform chat uh, SDKs has lots of options. For example, if you go here, you will see it's used by many, many big uh, companies and um, it has a lot of front end uh, um, uh, SDKs available. So because I was working with React Native, I clicked on React, which I think uh, is different than React Native. So shows you that it's how it easy it is to create a chat application using react but there's no tutorial for react native right so react native you have different kind of set of as um uh, applications sorry set of uh, instructions which you have to follow so then uh, i went to this link which is the sdk link here and then in here i clicked on react native now most of the time if you're a new react native developer or if you've been even working with react native for a long time if you're working on something new you use expo as your base to start and work on your react native app and that's what i did um, and that's uh, that's what i was looking for so what i did is i uh, looked into it and i found nothing it just talks about the plain react native application so i thought okay let's let's try and let's um, uh, see how i can do it so i started uh, working on the react native chat app tutorial now in this particular uh, tutorial you'll see that they they're asking you to clone a git repository which they already have and then literally start it and then look at it but i didn't want to do that i didn't want it to clone anything i wanted to start from scratch so in order to do that i read through all the documentation and i understood that these are uh, there are multiple steps which i have to take so what i did i went to the documentation and let me let me show you what uh, was helpful so this was one of the So this was one of the documentation which I found helpful. So according to this documentation, the first thing you have to do is you have to create a chat client, which you could do easily with React Native um, uh, by just uh, you know importing stream chat uh, and then um, initiating an instance with the API key available to you, which by the way, you have to do before you start working on it. Uh, red alert or a red flag before starting you have to install all the stream chat react native um, dependencies so when you go on to this getting started guide here and uh, you see that these are uh, the react native uh, dependencies you have to install but when you do that and then when you import it your expo app will throw an error because these dependencies are not good for you because you're running on an expo you know environment what you have to do is you have to go all the way down here and then you have to install these dependencies for your expo um, installation and then you'll be able to import um, stream chat now again 
here you see stream chat dash expo right so if you import stream chat from stream chat it will again throw an error because you have to import stream dash chat dot dash expo instead of stream chat so that's that was not made clear here um in this tutorial but uh, eventually i figured it out then you have to connect a user now when you when you when you have to connect a user you have to remember that you have to provide a user token here right this user token could only be generated from your server side so for example if, we, if you're using a php or a laravel server what you have to do is you have to actually um so let me uh, change it to you have to actually install the get stream stream chat with your on your server with composer then you provide the api key and api secret and then after that you have to generate a token with the id of the user right and then once you have the id uh, once you have the token you come back here and then you provide the user token which is again easy because what you can do is you can create a function send a using an axios uh, request send it to your uh, server uh, send the information authenticate your user with your app get the token from get stream and then provide this token to you this doesn't stop here that's not it when you have to create a channel you have two options so one is with the channel id and one is with the member list now i reached out to get stream support and i asked them if i create a channel with the channel name and for example if um, the two users involved in this conversation um, message each other from a different place for example not from the chat window from somewhere where they have a profile and they have a message button and they click on it will it create another channel and they said yes it will but if you create the channel with the name with the members ids then the system will automatically understand it and it will not create another channel so this was good i wanted to do that so what i did is i you know um made a function and started uh, creating the channel the moment i did it it threw as an error because in order to create channels you need to create users first and that could could only happen by creating users so for example um in the token section uh sorry in the um, sdk section if you go get stream channel um so this is uh, this is the stream chat php sdk so for example your backend is in php so what you have to do is you have to again uh, create a client instance and then you have to create a user right and then once the user is created you get that user instance back and then initiate the channel uh, in your front end um, react native app and once that's done you have to configure your ui component so that was not really clear in the documentation and again when i was configuring the ui component it was not easy it was throwing lots of error and there was no support as such available it looks so easy from the front when you you know look at uh, the portal the platform and uh, but it's really really difficult and that's why i wanted to show it to you that why i dropped the idea to implement um the stream chat uh, into my app so guys if you are planning to do that and if you had an, a, a different kind of experience do let me know uh, in the comment box and i would really appreciate to hear from you thanks bye